In this video, I'm going to show you my setup of my Hennessy hammock and Z-Pax tarp. Um, here is the full package at 2.6 pounds. Let's get started. First, I locate two trees and to determine whether they're the right distance apart, I approach one tree and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps is about right between, see, I want seven to nine steps. Then the way I pack my tarp is if I want the on the right tree, the tree to my right is where I'm going to start and then I, as I pull to my left, my, the zipper on the hammock will be facing me. So I've reached up pretty much as high as I can and I've looped the strap around and using one of the Dutchware buckles on the end of this strap, which I also got from Dutchware, and I stretch out the hammock as I go and it unfoiled out of my stuff sack. And then I attach to the other tree the other one. Now, both ends are attached to the trees, but clearly the tension is not right. So what we want is the tension so that when I'm sitting in the hammock, I, when I'm in the hammock, I'm sitting with my feet on the ground and that the lines here are at a 30 degree angle. Okay, here I've tightened up both ends, the straps, by just pulling on these. These again are Dutchware buckles here, and it's attached into the end of the hammock here. It's roughly 30 degrees, maybe a little less than 30 degrees. You want it so you're just touching thumb and first finger, and you want it more or less level. So now we've laid out the, the hammock, both sides, no longer on the ground. Next, we'll stake out the tarp. So I have, this is two sets of stakes with lines already attached. And I'll show you what I do next. So attached to each of the corner and the center point and the ends of the tarp are these Dutchware fleas shown here that are already attached to bungee cords. And I pull it, pull it out at roughly a 45 degree angle. And that's where I'm going to set my stake. So I put the stake in the ground, brought the line up. So my stake is in the ground and it comes up to the flea and it goes through hook like this. And it's going to down and round and up. So it comes up, down, around and up, and then into the slot, which locks it in place. And that's it. And to undo it, I just pull up on this line. Then I do the other four corners. Okay, all four corners of the tarp are staked out. The two doors are pulled back, so we have free access to it. My hammock is now suspended inside, but in its snake skins. So the next thing we do is go inside and pull the snake skins back. Now the end here has been modified. So we have a, a short sling it. We come up to the sling it and then you can see that the hammock up here is attached directly to the ridge line. So everything was suspended all at once. The next step is to sit in the hammock and make sure we're at the right height. Okay, while sitting in the hammock, 
Your feet should be very close to the ground in a sitting position so you can take your shoes off and get back into them. Other modification is, of course, we can move a third stake to pull this out or raise this up. So that's the basic hang of the hammock. To take the hammock down, to take the hammock down, we zip it up, we get all the stuff out of the hammock, of course. We take the under tarp and the upper, the under quilt and the top quilt off, and then we zip up the hammock. We bring the snake skin to the middle, just like that. I have two tie stakes, a smaller one and a larger one. Let the larger one overlap the smaller one. It was much more difficult to do this with one hand than two. And then it's a matter of now here's where it's nice to have these on the hangs we can come up. Just undo this, come back to the stake. You've got to grab with the line and just pull straight out of the ground. Repeat with the other three stakes or six stakes. And then I pack up from left to right. So my right hand side over here, I know will always be having the opening of the hammock towards me if my tree is on my right. Thank you for following along on my tarp setup and takedown.